we're seeing a lot more of it partly because parents are starting to understand that the the territory that their children are navigating is is territory that their children know better than they do and one of the most frustrating things about the discourse on online safety for minors in particular is well parents just need to do more this is a parenting failure right and it's heartbreaking to hear this because when you think about what the the world of technology offers kids now um, these are things that that parents cannot possibly keep up with, right? That this is this changing so fast that that there's no way that a person who actually has a job or or has other tasks in their lives is going I to- I struggle, I'll, I'll admit it. Like I try really hard, but I struggle big time. Yeah, and as you mentioned before, the, the, those people who really do understand it don't let their children access this technology, which is really, really telling. Yeah. But the other thing that that makes clear is this is a product. Let's, let's, let's speak very high level now and say that social media generally is a product that can do amazing things, but is incredibly dangerous, right? So in the wrong hands, without the right training, without proper warnings, but we're handing this to kids with no, you know, no instruction labels. There's, there's nothing there. And the people who are, we would hope in many families would be able to guide them um, can't because they don't know it um, as well. Sure. But I don't just want to say it's the old people versus the young. No one knows it well enough because sure. something that whistleblowers keep saying to us about insiders from these industries, they say, none of us know what's going on there. The way that you're being manipulated, the way that you're being exploited, so little of that is actually coming out to the public. There is no right. way that a parent can be responsible for this. And right. it's very frustrating to hear individual solutions to structural problems because they're never going to be enough. 